Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am inside another 2021 GR Supra 3.0 Premium. This one comes in a tungsten silver color. Last time when I did my other Supra video, I wasn't very thorough. With this one, I plan to be more thorough in terms of the interior. So here we go. My first impressions of the Supra in terms of the interior I really like the interior. I, th I said Toyota, but this is more of a BMW interior. It's all BMW. I really like these door handles. They look like something from the Lamborghini Huracan. The Supra does have a JBL sound system. Here you have one of the main speakers on the door, and this looks like the tweeter here. One thing I'm not a big fan of the interior is the low visibility, but that's understandable with the low sloping roof line. Now, I'm about 5'5", five five, so getting it into the Supra is not a big deal, but if you're about maybe 5'9", or 5'11", or even taller, getting into the Supra is going to be, I don't want to say difficult, but you're pretty much going to hit your head on the ceiling because it's very low. If that's something you can get over, I think that you'll, you'll like the Super, but that's something to look out for. I've seen some other YouTube videos where the Super owners, that's one of the things they didn't like, but they eventually got used to it. Nowadays with most cars, the interior is button laden, but with the Supra, they struck the right balance in terms of the buttons being in the right places. So having this piano black finish on the doors, as well as the center console and finally having a carbon fiber finish on the center console is a nice touch safety system traction control parking sensors electronic parking brake and of course this is your sport mode button and here you have the shifter one of the first things that caught my eye when I first sat down in the Supra wow. is this 8 inch digital gauge cluster. It's a TFT digital gauge cluster. But I really like this iDrive system. You can also control the menu with this rotary dial here on the center console. Besides turning the dial to select the different menu options on the home screen, you can also move it side to side and up and down. Getting past the light distortion from the camera, I really like how the map looks on the touchscreen. Navigation is not active. Again, I really like how the buttons are laid out in terms of climate control, media like radio and all that, and dial setting presets. One of the things I like about the interior of the Supra is the phone charger. As soon as you put your phone into the wireless, charging station your phone starts to charge i think that's pretty cool this is the glove box here owner's manual this looks to be this is the phone and cable charge package this comes out to about 73 dollars this is an option cup holders here extra storage maybe for your phone sunglasses here, right at the center ceiling, near the dome lights, is an SOS button. One of the things I wanted to do in my last Supra video was take a test drive of that Supra that came in absolute zero with the black leather trim interior. However, it did sell. I made that video, I believe it was November 6th, and it did sell either that afternoon or the next day so i wasn't able to take it for a test drive the one thing i did find out is that because the supra is such a very popular car and people just want to like hey i want to take it for a test drive with the supra 
if you want to take it for a test drive, you definitely have to be pre-approved with either um, the dealership's finance company that or, or banks that they use or have a pre, pre-approval letter from your bank before taking it for a test drive. Because they want to be absolutely sure that you know you're serious about buying the car. You're just not putting miles on it or uh, you want to take it for a joyride. Each dealership is going to be a little bit different. They just don't allow anyone off the street to you know, come in, hey, I want to take the Super for a test drive. Do I like it or not? And if I don't like it, um, they move on. Um, so I see the advantages of doing that because um, if you allow people just to come in and take take the Super 4 test drive, the miles rack up and that's not a good thing. So they're looking for serious buyers. As you see from my uh, previous videos, you know I like Infinities and Lexus cars. I want to do something different for my next car and I'm really leaning toward gaining this car. Um, I like what I see so far, um, just the build quality. Again, as I mentioned, in my other video, I said Toyo did a really good job, but this is pretty much all BMW um, in the, the interior look, the engine. Um, I think 50% of the parts in this Supra is from Germany. 15% is from Austria. But as far as like the tuning of the engine, that's all Toyota. Uh, with that said, overall, I think the Supra is a really nice car. I can actually see myself getting this car someday. But for now, this is more just doing my homework, educating myself about um, the brand or brands, because this is a collaboration between BMW and Toyota. I'll keep you updated in future videos. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you next time.